right, Jeremiah Plunkett, fantastic job. Welcome in our first two guys for the first event at the happening. Oh, man, it's great to be back in Proving Ground Pro. And as uh, I think we're as I'm learning, I'm a, a man of many talents, being you, asked to pull double duty. You brought many hats with you, and you may have to wear several of them during your tenure here in the Proving Ground. In the ring, we've got Johnny Wisdom in the black trunks and in the black and gold, well, half tights, half bikers in the mask, and we've got Overload. And, and both these guys are making their second trip to the proving ground, Jeremiah. We saw, now you weren't here with us when Johnny Wisdom debuted here last summer at Living the Dream. He was part of a six-man scramble, and he had a fantastic showing. He didn't come out with the victory, you know how those six mans can go. You can have a hell of a match and not win something like that. But he looked great in it. And you saw the debut of Overload last month at our tag team tournament. It's half of Mega over with Mega Chris Jones. Yeah, I, I'm a little familiar, like, like you said, with, with Overload. Um, I'm not as familiar with Johnny Wisdom. Now, just looking at Johnny Wisdom, he looks like a throwback, and I really like that. I'm a throwback wrestler myself. And Overload... He's a high flyer. He's fast. He's so fast. So we'll see if, if the speed, well, we got to get this started before we can see if speed is going to outrank technique. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, one thing I can remember about Wisdom's match, and that wasn't just yesterday. It was most of a year ago now. He, he didn't come right back to the proving ground. You know how indie wrestling works. If you only wrestle, you know, we only run shows once a month. You can't get guys in here every show. Schedules conflict, but he's finally back. But let me tell you. He was a traditional guy, like you said, and he was a ring psychologist as well as kind of a uh, old school technician, but he is in there with a guy that studies a lucha style and uh, overload is absolutely high octane, high flying, high speed all the time. So uh, this is gonna be an interesting matchup here. A little bit of psychology, probably a little bit of slowing his opponent down versus a guy looking to break loose with that speed. Oh, you, you, you have to. That has to be the strategy you're going to take when you're going in there with somebody faster. And it, it, you see, Overload, he, he had a top wrist lock. It, it's not always about what you do that's pretty. It's what you do that's effective. We got a single leg takedown and just a one count. But every kick out expels energy. The more tired you are, the harder it is to kick out. Go for quick kick outs. Go for pins often and early, and you can tire a man out. Yeah, I've always kind of, now, I'm not a guy that's been between those ropes, but I have watched a lot of matches, Jeremiah, up close and personal. I see those early pins as more of a testing than an actual attempt at victories a lot of times. Kind of uh, getting a measure of where your opponent's at energy-wise, as well as, as you're saying, forcing them to expend energy. But you're, you're kind of getting a feel for where they at. How hard are they pushing out? How quick are they pushing out? So even if you aren't going to get that three, you get a good gauge of where your opponent's at in those early pins. In a sense, they say not every move is a, a finishing hold or a finishing move as it is, but any hold can be because it doesn't. you don't have to drop a guy on his head for him to be too tired to get that shoulder up for a three count. So right there, and the, Johnny Wisdom is making a mistake right there. He should be going for the pin. Oh, and, nice kip up into an arm drag. What a move from overload. And Wisdom did make that capital mistake giving him extra time. That's like an extra out in baseball when you make an error. And then Johnny Wisdom, like we said, going back to slowing it down, taking a, taking a powder, as we say in the wrestling business. He saw the momentum, the overload what was building, and he's slowing them. He's slowing them down. And, but it looks like overload is going out after him. Yep, there's no timeouts in wrestling, but there's a 20 count in the proving ground, and you can use that to its fullest advantage. And, it, oh, and we don't, right off the stage goes Overload, diving right onto Johnny Wisdom. We don't have the best vantage point from here, but that is that has to be at least a five, six, seven foot leap onto Johnny Wisdom. Johnny Wisdom bringing this back in the ring where he wants this. He doesn't want to be outside with Overload. Well, I'll tell you what, that powder didn't. Oh, but Overload took his eye off the prize, and Wisdom was set perfectly to deliver that elbow when Overload stepped in the ring. 
And I spoke earlier about wear down holds, things to tire a guy out. This chin lock, you're not going to see many guys submit to a chin lock, but what he's doing, he's grinding into the man's chin and it's making it harder to breathe. And he might slip in. He's going back to the punches, but I was going to say you can slip in, you can get on those carotids, slide to a sleeper hold. You can put a man at. Oh, but a nice reversal from Overload and a nice escape from Wisdom. And oh, what a forearm by Wisdom. Quick to the draw on that one. One punch is all it takes sometimes, and he he knocked Overload. I can't see because of the match, but I assume he knocked Overload cross-eyed. I would imagine we'd have seen the eyes roll back in the head if you could see the eyes in his head. And again, grinding it down with a body scissor and then grinding that elbow into the temple. So uh, how's wrestling a guy in a mask affect your uh, game plan? You're not going to be able to read those emotions. You're not going to see that pain you're inflicting uh, as much you're not going to see those eyes roll back in the head you're always going to be guessing a little bit aren't you i definitely agree with that however you got to think that that mask if it gets tilted in any way obstructs the vision of overload and you saw earlier johnny oh. wisdom was trying to untie and trying to remove that mask but if he moved it in any way that could obstruct the vision and that can really hurt someone's game plan and I don't know about the breathing for those masks either. I've never been, you know, as they say, never been through the ropes and certainly never spent a lot of time in a lucha mask. But, oh, my, what impact. Wisdom's really brought his A-game tonight. There's so much impact on that suplex. We're sitting here right ringside, and, and, and the ring just bounced off the ground. And look at this exchange. Both men have taken a lot of punishment. I don't know if the eye post's going to be as effective with that lucha mask. Well, we didn't see anything fancy right there. We saw just an old-fashioned slugfest. And when he took the shot from overload, he's like, ah, maybe that's not a good idea, and thumb to the eye. No I matter how what, big, how small, works every time. I tell you what, sometimes you just can't get away from your, from your own training. Uh, an eye rake with a guy with a mask, even if. You might as well try it. Yeah, I mean, and, and even if he didn't hit him dead in the eye, the pressure on the eye will be enough to yeah, give him that momentary advantage. Right. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Man, Overload still got something and still getting out at those two counts. Still got some snap in him. And Johnny Wisdom doing the smart thing, no pun intended, right back to the wear down hold, right back to the rear chin lock, grinding, grinding on Overload. This is another really good showing for both of these guys. They've both had their moments in this match where they've really looked good, but they've at the same time they've both been able to cut off the other guy's offense eventually too. They really brought it tonight. You know, and, and the athletes that they bring in here at Proving Ground Pro, they, they always do. They always bring it. And what's Wisdom got mine here? A nice shoulder block into Overload and a huge chop unloaded on him here in the corner. And a scoop and a slam. He, he's put so much emphasis, drops the elbow. He puts so much emphasis on everything he does. He doesn't do anything fancy. But what he does, he does well. And clean. Effective. That's the nice thing about Wiz. Like you said, he is a throwback in a lot of ways. He is that old school style and, uh, and an effective old school style. Black trunks, black knee pads, black boots. Nothing fancy, but nothing wasted. No wasted motion. Everything he's doing is efficient. Every punch to the head, efficient to set up what he's doing next. And a blatant choke right in front of Pemberton. He's going to have to break that up. Wisdom's got something in mind, but oh, he took too much time. He telegraphed that. He, he did, man. He, he went all the way in the back. And, and the quickness of overload, paying dividends, and what a knee. Just like a punch, just like a punch, just like an elbow. Oh, oh my. I, I don't know what to call that. I have no Almost idea what like to call that. like a bulldog that. and a driving elbow to the back of the head at the same time. Again, I don't know what you call it other than painful and damn effective. Uh, very in, 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 innovative offense we're getting from Overload tonight. And when both men are down, we'll see if either one of them answers the, answers the 10 count. I mean, Overload took a lot of punishment, and that elbow to the back of the head can knock somebody out. Oh, that knocked Wisdom loopy. That knocked some of the wisdom out of him probably. But, I mean. Look, back to their knees and exchanging blows. Both guys on Dream Street here, Jeremiah. I, I, I've never seen the face of Overload, but you can tell. You think just by looking at him. He's Johnny, taking every bit the punishment Wisdom has, so you know that expression's got to be pretty similar under that mask. Looking at Johnny, Johnny Wisdom, you can tell he's been in a fight or two. I mean, he's missing a tooth. You know, he's been in a slugfest. I'm sure this isn't his first rodeo trading blows. 
Oh no, he grew up on the wrong side of the tracks and he's brought every bit of that here to the pro. Oh, my, what an integrity. I, I think he's out on his feet. He's got to be out on his feet. He's and wobbly legs. Unloading it a big foot right to the temple. A big flying pump kick. Oh, oh, two and seven, eights. That hand hit, I thought that was a three. I thought that was a three. Oh, my Lord. Barely survived Wisdom's out. I would say out on his feet, but he's being drugged to his feet. And just as quick as you oh, said that, a suplex. He had the tight hook on the legs, so it wasn't for lack of effort. It was for... Pro of effort. I mean, overload kicked out of that huge overhead belly to belly suplex. I don't know where Wisdom found that. I didn't see that coming, and I'll tell you who else didn't. And that was overload, man. That was out of nowhere. Dropped him right on his coconut. But Wisdom's oh starting to get get frustrated. You saw him slapping the mat. Oh. oh. And just unloading in the corner. Wisdom has really found his offense. Oh, man, the cutoff by overload. Up to that top rope, but Wisdom caught him, and overload's rocked. He's weaving up there. What's going to happen? we got a battle up top, and, man, anything can go back. Ricky Steamboat broke his back falling off the ropes. And oh, Johnny Wisdom's out, and look at this. Overload is perched. What do we got here? Frog splash. Huge frog splash. Will that be enough? And it will. Your winner, Overload. Your winner, the one-up player, Overload. Wow, what a barn burner of an opener at the happening. And Overload with a huge singles victory over a very game Johnny Wisdom. What a match. That's one of those matches you go to the back and you say, boys, Top that. I'll tell you what, it's a shame Johnny Wisdom took the loss because both those guys put in a performance worthy of a win. Here's the cheat code. He could have used a cheat code. If it's a contra really code, out. I don't know. <laughs>